Good day everybody, Tom here, welcome back to another episode of Paper Morio. This is part four, we are still trying to make our way back up to the town after falling off the veranda. We do have the hammer now, so we're gonna do a couple of fights. Though I can't really do anything with these guys. Spike Goom, okay. So yeah, obviously can't jump on these guys, so we have to use the hammer the whole time. We'll be able to get their health information once we can like tattle them or whatever. Alright, slowly gaining those star points. I might just keep these fights in because they're kind of short and sweet. Oh, a parrot Goomba. Even better. New enemies, too. Alright. Okay, so yeah, hammers won't hit the flying guys. Pretty, pretty common or pretty obvious, I should say. I keep thinking I have action command, so I want to hit A when I jump on those guys, but I don't have it yet. So now I just have to f take all this damage. Oh god, my controller's going crazy. I'm gonna have to switch it out. I don't know what... Maybe I'll have to go get some new ones soon. I got this stupid drift. Look at that. that I'm not doing that. It's just... I barely even touched it. Sometimes you can break these things open and hit them with a little rubbing alcohol and they seem to fix it. Because it's normally just like something stuck in there. I don't know. Alright, I think there's something I'll probably want to get up here. Oh, I missed them. Too slow. Oh well. I'm just going to keep using the hammer. It's just, I don't know. I feel like the hammer's more satisfying of a weapon to use. Something about just clocking them over the head. Although it's only doing one damage. That part's not too satisfying. But it is what it is. Until we can get a little more powered up. Hopefully we can make some good progress in this episode. Because I feel like the last, uh, the last episode we did some progress. And then the first two were just boring. Because it's dealing with all dialogue. Ooh, a star piece. Our first star piece. Alright. Perfect. We'll be collecting all of those. I don't know where they're at. I, again, I have never played this game. I have a practice file going, but I'm like not that far in it. Should I check this tree? No, wait, you can't even check that tree. It's in the background. I can't really get to it. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here. I made it back all right. Perfect. Open the gate. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Thank you, sir. Goompa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you in the veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Why do you sound southern? <laughs> of course, everything's good until Mario shows up, then all the bad shit starts happening. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Alright. We'll wait. Huh? Hey, that dolly you've got. That's what a... Oh, so I do have to get... I was gonna say, what happens if I don't have to give the dolly? Oh, I get to choose to. Okay. Well, I'll just be nice and say yes. I haven't said no. It's my dolly. Oh, you're so happy. We gave the little girl her dolly back. Here's a present for me. It's pretty glitter. Oh, okay. Thank God I did that, because I want a star piece. I don't need that. But thanks anyways. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been hitting the gym lately. I, speaking of working out, I suck at working out right now. I used to have such a good routine going. Now I'm going once a week. It's a waste of time. I need to get back going. I used to go Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday before I had my son. And then when he was really young, I was still going like four days a week. But I was going on the weekend more. Oh, good, Goomba, you're back. We just skipped all that dialogue. Whatever. You can read it yourself. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. What are we getting? Oh, the power jump badge. Perfect. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'd better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to do the badges? No, I know how to. Save some time. You'd better listen, Mario. This is really important. Could I please give you a brief lesson in badges? No. I don't need to know. All right, I trust you. Now remember, you need flower points. Okay, yes, we know. Okay. Don't need to know that... Useless information. By the way, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. <sighs> Too much talking. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand, tied behind his back. 
Mmm, I don't know about that. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh in on me, though. I'll tell you this. Lower back pain sucks. I have lower back pain. <laughs> I'm 30... How old am I? 32, I think. 31 or 32, I don't remember. Seriously, that's how bad it gets. For anybody young watching this, one day you won't even give a shit what age you are. You won't even remember. It's like, oh, I turned another day old. Another year old. Your birthday becomes nothing. It's, <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child, and the evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get a partner. Who didn't see that one coming? All right, Goombario, join the party. That's a cool painting, actually. That's really cool. When I'm interested, just ask him. Okay, so Goomba Goombario is basically the same as Goom... Was it Goomba? Who was the Goomba in the first one? That tattled. Or no, in, uh, not the first one. Paper Mario 2. What was her name? I don't remember. All right, goodbyes. Have a way of making you weepy. I'm not, I know, it's so sad. It's so sad we're leaving. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Yeah, I am going to take a rest. Might as well play it safe. Yeah, hit me up for one night, please. At least I don't have to pay like I did in Earthbound. Well, we only have the, the deluxe suite for 680 a night available. Even though there's nobody at the hotel. <laughs> Earthbound always ripping you off. Thank you. Thanks for the free stay. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And blow that up. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be aligned with difficulties. Try not to overdo it. Be watchful yet stay cool. Calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge. Oh my god, I will equip it right now. Jesus. Alright, badges. Power jump. So, I know we haven't leveled up yet, but I have not figured out if I'm going to make this kind of like a badge run. Or if I'm going to make it a health run. Or even flower power. I don't know. Maybe we can use the comments to kind of determine that. Because I don't think we're going to hit our first uh, our first level up for a little bit here. Oh yeah, we can change the order. Okay. Not that that matters, but whatever. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. I wanted to tattle him. Oh. We'll get another one. Nice, a mushroom. Perfect, there's one right here. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> this music's funny. Except it's gonna be way out of sync because I, uh, I have the lag. I'm gonna have to switch my game controller here shortly. Alright, this will actually give us the, uh, the health meter now. Which is nice. Hammer time! Probably gonna have to start cutting these out soon because we've really seen a lot of these enemies and there's no point of leaving these in anymore. It's just a time waster. So I think, yeah, after this one I'll start doing it. But as I was saying, or if I didn't say it already, I'm kind of wondering what you guys think I should do. Should I go for HP, FP, or work on getting a lot of badge points? Because that's what I'll predominantly do then. Nice, we got some flower power there, even though I don't really need it, because I'm pretty sure I'm still full. What do we have here? Paragoomba, come and get me. Oh, I missed. Alright, I got the Paragoomba tattled in that battle, so now we are able to see the HP. On the flip side, my health is really low, because you can't really block anything at this point in the game, so you do have to do some HP management, actually. But they give you enough stuff. Oh, I guess I'll tattle these guys too while we're here, but they do give you enough like items and stuff to where you can actually um, Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll jump on him To where you can easily heal up. So it's not really a problem All right, let's get the spiky goomba tattled. I'm just gonna blow through this I'm assuming there's a tattle log somewhere. I haven't looked yet. Ah, damn two That hurts That hurts so bad Just imagine having that spike jam into you like that. Ooh! So painful. All right, head bonk your ass. How are we looking on stuff? Okay, so we're just, we broke 50. So we're halfway there. Ooh, what do we have in here? Badge? Yes, we do. Close call badge. Actually, I'm gonna equip that real quick. No, that's the wrong menu. 
All right, close call is equipped. That way, if we're low on HP, we won't get hurt. Uh, and I think this is a trap, so before I grab it, I think I'm going to call it quits for this episode because we're out of time, and I'll see you guys in the next part, and we'll continue off here. Bye-bye.